Hey guys, and welcome back to FM24. We are back here with Sully Hall. I know that for those of you who don't watch the streams, there's a significant gap between episodes from, from the last stream to this game. We played two games off camera, and this is how they went. We played Oxford City. We got a 5-2 win, a Mark Beck hat-trick, and Taraj and Maycock both getting goals. Um, McCracken and Josh Parker... They yeah they leveled the game up. They got two goals from a minute. We actually took kick off and they scored there. And Josh Parker scored and uh, to make it two all. But Beck scored. Uh, Torres scored. Beck and then Maycock got the goals. We then played Woking and lost two one. It's been a while since I played this. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this was one of them games that we probably shouldn't have lost, but we did. Matt Robinson coming to you know someone we're looking at come to bite us on the the ass. Look, realistically, this season, this tactic is going to be a problem for us, and we're very aware of it. But I thought we would come back for this game against Kidderminster, which is on TV. It's considered a um, derby game, and I felt like this was the perfect time to come back. So we're going to play the Kidderminster and the Filed game, and then we'll work out when we're coming back. So let's get into this. We're the only game that's on. So the lineup we are going with, we're going with Kovacevic, Clark, Morrison, uh, Katie Craig, Joe Newton, Osborne, Labadee, Maycock, Warbur, and Kelly and Beck. And a bench of Simkin, Stearman, Mafuta, Stevens, and Cargo. Uh, Jay Ben is close to being back. I don't know what that means when he will be back. It may end up being seeing Clark go move back into centre-back and him going to, what's it? But Clark has been doing, his performances over the last five games have actually been better at set up right back. So we'll see what happens. Morrison's lacking. We, we've had to drop Stearman. He's, he's a big problem. We've also moved the, we're now doing a, a mid-block and not, trying to push up I feel like that was playing a big part in our problems alright so Kidderminster are lined up with Dibble Pierce McNally Knight Perseville didn't he come from oh that's a different one Robinson Byron Maguire Leesley Lambert McDonough and Kieran Phillips let's get into this uh, go and play a natural game Labadee's aggressive it probably wasn't the right player to put into this game all right, first goal is crucial. We want to score, we want to score early. Uh, no, what capable? Yeah, I hope it lasts forever. All right, let's get into this. It's been a while. The other playthrough that I'm doing on this save with a couple of friends, I play a 4 2 3 1. It's a five at the back, which is, as we always, as we all know, is a massive issue for our team. We do struggle against five at the backs. All right, Beck here on the ball goes into Craig to Maycock. So Craig out of here, Beck. It's not where I really want Beck to be, but Maycock. Oh, into the channel. Beck. That which penalty do you want to give there? <laughs> that is both of them could have been penalties. And 13 minutes in, and that is Warburton has a chance to put us 1-0 up. And he does. And we're 1-0 up against Kidderminster in this big, big derby that we have. It's the only derby we have in this league. And that is a great start. That is his bread and butter. Hey. <laughs> Got the best of both with him there. There's <laughs> right, a corner here for her. Um... Do you know what? I think the floated crosses might actually be something that we can look at because Beck is so dominant in the air. As you can see, a big floated cross from James Clark and Beck, Beck leaps like a salmon. He's doing a little jig to celebrate the 30-year-old, I'm pretty sure he's 30, the 30-year-old target man. And it's, it's just good play there. And it's a, it's a well-deserved uh, lead that we're going in at half-time with. All right, Labadee to Clark, 46 minutes on the clock. He's going to take on his man. Leesley wins, gives away a throw-in. Don't really know why this is a, a highlight, but Labadee back to Clark. Good ball in with a floated cross, and floated crosses might be the way. The only the only concern I have is the fact that Kelly isn't big. So if it's down the left, floated crosses, I probably aren't going to help him. But it's great by Clark. A little touch, and then oh, what a ball that is. And Beck rises high, posting in. Dibble couldn't quite get there. Benjamin Williams. Knight Percival, McNally, goes here to Barbrook. I meant I should have taken, I should have left Beck on. 
So goal back. I thought it was offside, but it's not. We just fell asleep at the back there. Morrison just stopped following his man. I think, is it Stearman playing him on? Yeah, Stearman. Oh, to be fair, he might have, Morrison just doesn't really go to it. And Kovacevic there gets a hand to it, but can't divert it away. Disappointing to concede their only shot on target. Full time, we will take this as a big win for us. Um, okay, so we are back for the final game. There has been one change to our starting 11 with um, Clark dropping out of the squad. He's just knackered. J Ben comes in and Barrett comes onto the bench just because he can cover all of that back four. Felt like that was the right way. And Taraj makes the bench. Uh, I couldn't even tell you the name of the person who he's replaced on the bench. Uh, so our lineup is Kovacevic, Ben, Morrison, Craig, Newton, Osborne, Labadee, Maycock, Warbur, and Kelly and Beck. Going up against Fylde, who are Smith, Goulden, Graham, Whitmore, Mabaya, Donnell, Titchmarsh, Conlon, Rowley, Norton, and Charman. Goes in. Oh, Smith comes and collects. But Beck was there. Beck, Beck smelt blood. Smith going along with it. Uh, and Morrison just controls that. Craig. I was asked pre-match about Craig and he's had an impressive training performances. Would he play? And it was like, oh, of course he will. Labadee, the pass was on there to um, Kelly. But Ben, good ball in, Beck. Good in. Apparently lofted crosses. I made that change in the tactic and lofted crosses to Beck is unbelievable. <laughs> Definitely one of the players I want to keep around if we're here next season, if a bigger club hasn't come in and tried to snap us up. The... There was the games played in between um, because we played on the Friday for television and we dropped back down to like 13th. <laughs> Osborne, well done. Warburton, keep control of the ball. Oh, that was a nice pass there. Round the corner to Beck. Mark Beck, not known in this team for his finishing ability with his feet, but that was a great finish. And Beck is he's dragging us at the minute. It was nice football. We had it. it got a bit scruffy, but it's good movement, good touch. And then on his left, just almost in the corner, as, as close to the corner as you'd expect in non-league. But that puts us 2-0 up. We have thrown away a few leads, so we'll be hoping we, we don't have a repeat of that and we can hold on to this game. But Newton, my buyer launching in there. Newton, take the easy pass. Wasn't the, the easy pass I thought you were going to go for. Maycock to Newton. The thing is with this Sully all team, like I, I know that the end of the oh Kelly, oh he's supposed to be our best player, and he just I don't see it. I, I don't know. I know he's tall. Is he? I think he, I might. To be fair, I think he might be about six four. Craig to Maycock to Labadee, Randy to Morrison, Morrison to Barrett, big lofted ball and. I love that. It was like, the game was like, Kelly's going to get on this. And you saw Kelly bursting out. He's like, yeah, Kelly's going to get on this. And it was like, no, he's not. Beck is there and he's just like, I am a man mountain, mountain and this is going to be, look, Kelly's sprinting at it and Beck's like, no, 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 it's mine. <laughs> and that is a hat trick for the target man and a 3-0 lead and I feel like now might be the time to get some fresh legs on for the f get the final fresh legs on Warburton Barrett ball to the back post of Taraj goes back to Newton oh, Newton great bit of skill pulls it back Taraj makes it four I think I probably should have taken off someone like Newton I'm not that I really have anyone that I could have bought in Kelly Oh, Beck, that was clever by Beck. Oh, Taraj Kelly. Josh Kelly gets his third of the season. Question marks have got to be asked about the goalkeeping there. Defensively, they are. Filed have fallen apart. But that was really good by Beck. It, Taraj just wasn't on the same wavelength, but he gets to... He, they're, just, they're just a mess at the back there, and Taraj can play to Kelly, who just hits it. Keeper sh should do better, but... It's 5 0 now. Let's keep a clean sheet. We've limited them to nothing. They've had one shot off target. Oh, come on. 81st minute. That said goal before, we were like. Oh, giving away a clean sheet again. How has that gone in? 
Between Kovacevic and the player on the line, that should never go in. It's going to be another corner. Lads! And now the result isn't as flattering. Like, we've conceded two late corners. Is that Labadee? Of course it was Labadee. Uh, I'm disappointed with that. I'm not disappointed. It was it's a great result. But falling asleep at the end is not what we want. But 10 games in, we are 18th. Well, we're 18th. We've got 18 points. We're only three off top. <laughs> the FA Cup and South End, depending on how the FA Cup goes and who we draw next round, it'll probably come in for that. But I think for January, we'll probably come back for Dagnar and Redbridge. But that is going to be where we end this episode. If you've enjoyed this episode, please make sure you smash that like button down below. And if you're new channel, hit that subscribe button. All the support really does mean the world to me. We are going to be consistent with this upload. I want to get to the end of this series. I want this to be a massive series that we get to the end to and there's success along the way. So thank you very much for watching. I have been Justin and you have had just enough.